Hi guys, welcome back to the Hubie and Talon channel. This is Stella Bella. Now, as some of you already know, recently I got gifted a Quest 2, an Oculus Quest 2. I've been spending a lot of time on it, loving it, playing it non-stop. It's the virtual reality gaming device that I did a review on a couple of weeks back. Feel free to check it out on our channel or in my playlist if you like. But recently I've been playing it a lot. Now a big reason why I love virtual reality is because it's so active and immersive. I love using it for fitness and to be active. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my top 5 VR game recommendations for the Oculus Quest 2 that are the best to keep you active, keep you fit without you even realizing it. I'm going to show you a little bit of the gameplay as well so you can see what it looks like and get a feel for it for yourself. So game number one, without a doubt, has to be Beat Saber. It's one of my most favorite games, even on the PSVR. Um, I used to play it nonstop. It is the best sort of rhythm-based game there is on the market um, on multiple platforms. I love playing it on the Quest because you have no wires, you can move around however you like. It's so much fun. And that was the one thing I found on the PSVR was that because I was connected to all of these wires, I was a little bit wary every time I try to swing or do something a little more active. But the Quest is amazing for that which means you can actually maximize your workout. Now, of course, a lot of people just use it for gaming purposes. You don't actually have to use it for exercise, but it is very good for some coincidental exercise. Like you don't even notice that you're working out because you're having so much fun. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay so you can see what it actually looks like. Now in the game, you'll be able to see just how active it is. So I'm playing on expert mode because I've been doing it for a while. Obviously you can start off on easy mode, which is a hundred times easier than this. So don't worry if you're a complete beginner to Beat Saber. It is actually very intuitive and you improve and get better with the game very quickly. My first time ever playing Beat Saber, I started on easy, but within a couple of games, I then jumped to normal and then hard. So it's not as scary as it looks here. You can definitely pick your levels that you want to work with. What I love about Beat Saber is that because it's such a popular game, the developers are constantly making improvements to it. There's always new music packs coming out. Like for example, this one that I've got here, which is an Interscope mix. So it's basically a few popular songs that go really well with Beat Saber. And I've decided to put it in a playlist. Sometimes there's specific artists, for example, Lady Gaga, BTS, Fall Out Boy, Green Day, Panic at the Disco, Timberland. So specific artists will come out with a set of songs that you can do on Beat Saber as well. Of course, there's the normal Beat Saber playlist that you can use, which isn't half bad, but me personally, I like to play the game to songs I know. Um, I just feel like I am a little bit more active in that way. When you start off on the easier modes, you're pretty much stationary throughout the whole game, but you still get a pretty good arm workout. As you get into the harder modes, like hard and expert, you start seeing a lot more obstacles that's gonna make you bend and squat and duck and dodge, as well as have to swing your sabers high, low, far, close. When you start getting into those harder modes, it's definitely a full body workout and you'll start sweating before you even know it. And because it's so much fun and you're concentrating so hard on getting those little arrows and the little blocks, you don't even notice that you're working out, which is the best kind of workout in my opinion. The type that literally I can play Beat Saber for two hours and not realize that I've burnt so many calories and I've just had a massive workout because it's been so much fun. And as you can see here, it does get super challenging when it gets to the harder levels. So this is on expert level and this song here, Don't Ya by Pussycat Dolls, it's actually one of the hardest songs I've ever played on here. And funnily enough, I've failed every single time except when I was filming for this video. So it must be some pretty good motivation there. Like I said, plenty of songs to choose from, plenty of different levels to suit your needs as well. So definitely my number one choice, Beat Saber 100%. Number two on my list is actually a game called Pistol Whip. And it's not even a game that is meant to be that active. It's a shooting game and it's basically designed in such a cinematic noir kind of style that it doesn't actually feel real. It feels like you're in a different universe, a different matrix. But I cannot believe what a workout I had from a game that wasn't supposed to be that active, that I knew of. So I'm gonna show you here a little bit of the gameplay. So you're able to pick different scenes, different settings for the world that you want to play in. Personally, for me, it doesn't make that much of a difference because I'm so focused on shooting these assassins that pop up at me. So I'm not really noticing the background. Actually, that's what I find with a lot of these games as well. Like for example, Beat Saber, such beautiful graphics and I can tell, but as soon as it starts, I'm focused on those blocks. I don't even have time to look at all the amazing designs that the creators have done but it definitely adds to the feeling of everything. So Pistol Whip, you select the scene that you want and then you select the level. For me, I've 
picked easy every time because easy for me is already hard. I know a lot of gaming veterans are probably gonna laugh at that, which is fine, but I get enough of a workout and enough of a scare just from the easy level. And basically all it is is you go in, you have your gun, you can reload by pointing down and then back up, and you shoot the assassins that pop up at you and make sure you're not shot. Which sounds easy enough, but it's actually super hard. I cannot even imagine what hard level would be like because on easy level, I am already trying to dodge bullets, duck, dive. I landed on my bottom a few times because dodging the bullets, I had to go down so low that I just fell over. Not only do the assassins pop up at you at super random times, sometimes you can't just shoot them easily. You actually have to, as the game suggests, pistol whip them. So you actually have to hit them with your pistol rather than shoot them because they're actually wearing armor or bulletproof vests or something like that. So it is a challenging game, but it is a lot of fun. Definitely don't notice yourself getting a good workout, but I remember playing it for the very first time, only maybe two or three games. And the next day my legs were sore from all the squatting and bending and dodging that I had to do. So definitely an effective, active workout game. Number three, we've got Thrill of the Fight. I'm recommending this one. I know there's a few different boxing type games out there, but I'm recommending this one because the price is really good for its effectiveness. This game is on special a lot. And for those of you who don't know, games in the Quest store, in the Oculus store, rarely go on special. So I got this one um, as part of a pack. So it was a little bit cheaper than normal, but I think it's only around maybe $15, $20 anyway. And the idea is that you are boxing and you are boxing an opponent. Now this one actually kills you. So do be careful if it's your first time getting back into exercising or you've taken a very long break. I would not recommend starting with this game or if you do, make sure you do a lot of the tutorials and the trainings beforehand. Keep it super simple because once you get straight into the game, which is what I did, you may find very quickly just how cardiovascular unfit you are. So you can have a look at the gameplay here. You go in, you get weighed in, as they say in boxing terms. And it is an amazing workout because you're fighting a physical opponent and because in VR, even though everything is sort of cartoony, it still feels very real, especially when they're trying to hit you and you're trying to hit them. And you're kind of seeing a physical body there that you're trying to punch and you just punch that much harder than you normally would, which is exactly what I did. Because you're in a game fighting a sort of real opponent, it feels so real that you don't even realize you're getting a good workout. And this is an amazing workout. Within seconds, I am huffing and puffing. My arms are sore. I, can, I know I'll feel it in my back the next day. And if you're on easy mode, it is so easy to win and get an effective workout in as well. Harder modes I haven't tried yet, but I can imagine they will take a lot out of you. So I would definitely build up to that slowly, but this is definitely a really, really effective game if you want to get a lot of cardiovascular exercise in and you love boxing. Okay, number four, I'm recommending Synth Riders. Synth Rider is actually a really popular game on the Oculus Quest. And it's a game I've never heard of before because I've been so focused on Beat Saber. It's very similar to Beat Saber in that it is a rhythmic based game that requires you to hit targets as they fly towards you. Depending on how hard you hit, you can create extra combos, give yourself extra points. It forces you a little bit to, to work out harder than necessary, which is something that Beat Saber doesn't do. You can pretty much get an SS rank if you hit all of your targets, even if you're standing there just waving your wrist around. So you don't actually have to swing hard or anything, you just have to hit the targets. Whereas Synth Rider detects how hard you hit and the more energy you use, the more points you get. And I love the fact that Synth Rider does have a lot of different types of songs that you would normally hear on Beat Saber. So Synth Rider has a lot more of the sort of neon 80s feel, as you can see in the gameplay. The vibe, the environment is very 80s retro neon feel. Music wise, a lot of electro pop, electro swing, and just overall a very a very retro, almost Stranger Things sort of vibe, which I actually really enjoy. And unlike Beat Saber, where the setting and the environment is picked for you, depending on the songs that you're playing, Synth Rider allows you to pick them yourself. So you have a bunch of different environments to choose from for whatever song you want to play. I haven't used the function, but I have read that you're able to upload your own songs onto Synth Rider as well. So if a song isn't on there, you're able to create your own playlist, but you will need a PC to do that. Now, the only reason why Synth Rider is number four and not close to Beat Saber 
It's just because I love the complexity of Beat Saber. I have only just played on normal mode on Synth Rider, so I know that it can get a little bit more complex later on, and you do still need to dodge walls and squat down and things like that. But Beat Saber, because of the different directions of the arrow requiring you to have more, a little bit more dexterity and I guess using your coordination a little bit more, I find Beat Saber a little bit more challenging than Synth Rider, which is just basically punching the colors with the correct hand as they come towards you and punching it hard. But it is still a very effective workout, a very fun game that will keep you active, great for fitness, and you won't actually notice that you're working out while you're playing it. Okay, number five on my list of recommendations is Box Fit VR. Now, the reason why it's number five is because it is an exercise game. So, and I know I said I'll recommend games that makes you work out, build up a sweat, get you working out and exercising without you realizing you're actually working out. So I feel like this needs to be number five simply because it is marketed as an exercise game, but I'm including it in the list because you actually don't realize you're working out because it is so much fun. So the thing with Box VR is that it is entirely an exercise game. So you go in there, you've got your personal trainer yelling in your ear, telling you you're doing a great job, keep it up, that sort of thing. But what I love about it is that because like all VR games, it is done in such a fun gaming mode and you have so many different types of exercises to choose from. So you can do a dance-based workout, you can do Latin, R&B, hip hop, or you can do your typical boxing, punching, hitting the target type of workout, or you can focus more on your legs or arms or back. So the game itself allows you to have a lot of different choices. And I feel like it's quite versatile because of that. And as you can see from the selection, there's so many. You can pick based on your level and beginner level is easy. So don't worry. You can always start off slow and build up your fitness level to get to the harder stages. But there are so many different types of workouts to choose from and as you can see they do update it regularly as well there's new exercises every week the only thing that would be a downfall for this game for some people might be the fact that it does cost money to subscribe which is an added cost as well but they do normally have a seven day free trial for you to give it a go to see if it's the right thing for you i think subscribing is definitely worth it if you definitely want to use your gaming time to do a little bit of incidental exercise if you input all of your stats it will track your heart rate your calories burned, see if you're on your way to your goals and help you actually reach those health goals, which are important as much as, you know, we love gaming. We can also use that time to improve our health a little bit. I don't see what the harm is in that. So I definitely think if you enjoy sort of VR target hitting games, this is definitely a good one for you to get your cardio exercises in. Now as a little bit of a bonus game and for a cool down after your super hard workouts in the previous five games that I recommended, I would suggest downloading Eleven, which is a table tennis game. And I've never been good at table tennis. And as you will see from the gameplay, I can't even serve. I can't even serve. It is actually a very accurate portrayal of how, how I play ping pong or table tennis in real life. And to be honest, the feel, the gameplay and the feeling of it is actually pretty spot on. It doesn't feel like I'm just hitting a ball to nothing. Like when I hit the ping pong ball, it goes where I expect it to go if it was real life. So there are sometimes games I've played ping pong before where you would do a little bit of a hit and then for some reason it goes flying because it doesn't actually detect how hard you're hitting. This is actually really intuitive, really accurate. So I love it and I love it as sort of a little cool down game after I've done my normal exercises, just to sort of chill a bit, relax, unwind before sort of taking that VR set and bringing myself back into the real world. It is quite fun. And again, I haven't tried the hard levels. Maybe the hard levels are a little bit more hardcore and makes you sweat a bit. But for me, it's definitely a great bonus cool down game to get. And it's usually pretty cheap as well. It's under $20, under $15, $20, which for a Quest VR game is quite cheap because most of them are around 50 as a starting point. And the great thing about this game as well, and actually with a lot of the other games, is that it's multiplayer. So you can play with a an actual human friend. If they've got a Quest VR as well, they'll be able to log in and you can play ping pong against them. You can play Beat Saber against them. I'm not sure about Thrill of the Fight, but I know there are boxing games on the VR set that you can actually play against one of your friends as their opponent. So definitely worth checking out. But based on my own experience, these five plus one bonus games are my go-to if I want to have a workout without feeling like it's a workout. Thanks so much for listening, guys. It has been a pleasure sharing with you my top five 
and a bit recommendations on the games that you can play on the Oculus Quest 2 VR gaming device that will help you get some exercise in without you even realizing it. And if you've got any questions, feedback, comments, please leave it down below and please make sure to follow our channels. We are on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Just give us a search, Hubian, Hubian Talents or Hubian Agency will show up. And do follow me as well. My social media is stellabella.au. I'm on Instagram, Facebook and TikTok. I would love to hear from you there. So feel free to leave me a message, question, or if you have any topics you'd like me to cover going forward, please let me know as well. But as per usual, thank you so much for listening and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.